today indicating a weather change is coming for sure. We've had several days of absolutely spectacular weather and it now looks like things will be changing. No real problems today, but clouds certainly on the increase on the WVTM 13 live Doppler with your three minute advantage. One tiny shower southern Lamar County, but these showers keep running into drier air, so they're not surviving very long. Will not be an issue for us tonight. Certainly no severe weather with these early evening showers and they'll stay over the west. Meanwhile, kind of interesting off to the west with this uh, line of showers and thunderstorms. One active tornado warning north central uh, Louisiana. Here's the line of storms and it seems to be spreading out and getting wider as time goes on. It's also ahead of schedule as it approaches Interstate 55 now. So we'll have to watch that. For the most part, not much organization in the part of the line that's crossing the Mississippi over the northwestern part of Mississippi. So that could mean maybe not much organization when it gets to us later on this evening. Could be a good sign, but we'll keep an eye on it. For now, that marginal risk of severe weather certainly continues. For tonight, increasing clouds. Impact weather starts at 11 when no showers and storms will start entering northwest Alabama, and that will continue the rest of the night. Possibility exists for a brief tornado, certainly the possibility of some damaging wind gusts. 11 o'clock tonight, this model says the line is there. I don't think that's correct. I think it's going to make more progress than that based on how it's moving now. So easily into the state by midnight. By 1 a.m. it seems to lose some definition and then takes off toward the northeast. What that could mean for places like Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Shelby County, St. Clair County is that the highest risk of severe may come after daybreak tomorrow because if the showers weaken tonight, it'll take another line of storms coming in behind us 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning for the possibility of severe weather. So we'll watch for that possibility as well. It's still a marginal risk of severe. That's a one on a scale of one to five brief tornado possible. And certainly that threat is greatest over the northwest damaging wind gusts to 60 miles per hour, and there could be some flash flooding too. Once we get rid of this system, there'll be a little break Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, and then it comes to an end because the next system arrives Friday, at least to some extent with some scattered showers and storms. They continue into Friday night and then it's possible it all comes together on Saturday with a more organized system coming through that could make it rain pretty hard. Now it does suggest the strongest storms are down here, but there also would be some rain up north. So we're calling Saturday a severe day for the possibility that it somewhat approaches a washout, at least for parts of the area. Tomorrow impact weather, some morning storms, 80 for the high, scattered storms Friday and a high of 80, a severe day on Saturday and 74 degrees, rain and thunderstorms then, better Sunday and Monday than somewhat unsettled next Tuesday and Wednesday with showers possible as it turns cooler.